to all the men and women who have served our country, this is dedicated to you. The Eagle's Victory First we saw an osprey by the pond next to our house. A few minutes later, we saw a bald eagle. It was just sitting there. It didn't try to fly or anything. We figured it was injured. It sat on the ground for the longest time. He looked as though he was losing hope, when all of a sudden another eagle swooped down right in front of him. She didn't land by him, though. Instead, she perched on top of a nearby tree. After she swooped down by him, he seemed to perk back up. Maybe he remembered that he wasn't in this alone. After her visit, he turned himself around, and then he started moving around a little bit. He manages to make it down to the water, but every time he tried to walk, he would stumble. Then he started pecking at his feet. Since he couldn't walk into the water, he decided to try to fly, but he didn't make it very far. Almost face first in the water, it did not look very good for this eagle. Her look was so intense as she watched him struggle from above. As he stood helplessly in the water, he seemed to be reflecting on his situation. He may have been remembering some advice he had received a little earlier from an unlikely source. This little bird landed on a twig right by the eagle. Instead of dive-bombing it like it normally would, the sparrow seemed to be offering his support. Walk it off. If something gets stuck on your talons, you can use the water to help you slide it off. Don't ever give up. You can do this. Hmm, if something gets caught on my talons, I can use the water to help me slide it off. I can do that. She just waited and watched. You are my soulmate. You're made for life. I will stay here and look over you for as long as it takes. You are the spirit in my wings. When you are able, we will rise above this, and together we will soar higher than we ever had before. More than an hour later, the eagle is free. For you fishermen and women who think it is nothing to leave a wad of fishing line on the grass or in the water, think again. The little guy was right. I am free. And now I can soar higher than I ever had before. It was so beautiful to watch him take flight. She continued to watch him until he got closer to her. Then she joined him. Together, they took two victory laps around the pond, then disappeared into the clouds. Thank you, God, for keeping me safe when I was vulnerable, for blessing me with someone to watch over me when I was down. Thank you for those that offered their support. Because of them, I was able to find the courage to carry on. We figured we would never see two bald eagles by our little retention pond ever again, but a couple of hours later, they both showed up again. It was as if he wanted to make sure he would always remember this place, the place where he realized how great it is to be free. To the men and women who kept watch over our country and did whatever it took to ensure our freedom, I honor you this Memorial Day. I honor and respect you every day. Thank you for your sacrifices and for your service. I promise to never forget where I am because of you. Now enjoy a couple of seconds of the video of the two eagles returning after their long ordeal. God bless you all, and happy Memorial Day.